Triple X, Return of Xander Cage. The film opens with a satellite falling out of orbit and hurtling toward Earth. In Brazil, Augustus Gibbons, Samuel L. Jackson, is trying to recruit Neymar Jr. in a restaurant for a position as the next XXX agent. Neymar declines because he doesn't see himself as a hero. Moments later, a thief enters and tries to rob the place with a gun. Neymar grabs a napkin dispenser and kicks it at the guy's head. Gibbons is excited and starts trying to get Neymar in the program, but the satellite crashes down and blows the place up. At the CIA headquarters, Jane Mark, Tony Collette, is telling her colleagues about what caused the satellite to crash, a military device known as Pandora's Box. The people that crash the satellite can use Pandora's Box to bring any other military satellite down like a warhead. Meanwhile, four people, Zhang, Donnie Yen, Serena, Deepika Pajikan, Talon, Tony Ja, and Hawk, Michael Bisping, infiltrate the headquarters and start taking out all the agents one by one. Shang is quick with his hands and feet, and he swipes Pandora's box from them. The team makes their escape. Mark then tells her superior that Gibbons knew someone who could handle these guys. Xander Cage, Vin Diesel, has been living in the Dominican Republic. He skis from a tower and picks up a skateboard from some people in town before riding his board to fix an electrical issue that allows everyone to view the soccer game. Xander then goes home to his girlfriend Lola, Ariadna Gutierrez, and then leaves her some love making. Xander goes to Santo Domingo and notices something suspicious. An American man sits next to him on a bench and leaves a bag on the ground. Xander opens it and sees a bomb inside. Immediately, a SWAT team comes in and tells Xander to not move, then to get on his knees. Xander starts being a smartest to annoy the captain. Mark steps out and admits to everything being a ruse, which Xander knew about already. Mark starts trying to get Xander to rejoin the XXX program and mentions that Gibbons is dead. Xander joins Mark in a church as they discuss the situation with Shang and his team. Xander isn't eager to rejoin the program as he has been enjoying his self-imposed exile, but he mentions someone he knows in London that can help. In London, Xander meets his friend Ainsley, Hermian Corfield, who helps him track down Shang and his team to a location in the Philippines. He then spends time with Ainsley's girls for some undercover work. As Shang and his team are hiding out, Serena approaches him about Pandora's box. She knows that they are being hunted, and she wants to destroy the device, but Shang says they need it for what they want to do. Mark brings on a special forces team led by Paul Donovan, Tony Gonzalez, to help Xander. He and Donovan do not get along, and Xander ejects Donovan and his team from the plane, while they're attached to a cargo load with a parachute. Xander says he doesn't want these guys watching his back, so he picks a few people who he does trust. We first meet Adele Wolf, Ruby Rose, as she appears to be hunting a lion. In reality, she is stalking out a trio of hunters set to harm the lion, but Adele shoots the three of them in the leg and leaves them to be chased by the lion. Xander calls her first. Next is Tennyson Torch, Rory McCann, a mad driver with a record 198 crashes to his name. Finally is Nix, Chris Wu, a DJ, that serves as a great distraction. The three are brought in to meet with Xander and Mark to go over the mission. They aren't interested at first, but eventually decide to join. The team meets Becky Clearidge, Nina Dobrev, a hypertech specialist that gives the team some fresh gear like bionic gloves. The team arrives in the Philippines to a hideout run by a man named Lazarus, Nicky Jam. Xander gives him 22 and a half percent of their ammunition in order to gain entrance to the place. It looks like a nightclub with people dancing and playing music. Xander approaches Serena as Nick's plays DJ to distract Talon from following Xander. After some foreplay, Xander meets Shang. The three of them sit down as Adele is up in a tree with her rifle waiting for a chance to make her move. Shang takes out some grenades in a game of hot potato to see how quick Xander is. Xander learns that Shang and his team are XXX agents with their own agenda. Moments later, a team of Russian soldiers storms the place. Xander and Shang's team spring into action. Adele shoots the goons and then follows the others as Shang and his team get away. Later on, Xander chases after Shang on motorcycles that are equipped to surf on water. They ride through the waves as Xander tries to take Pandora's box. He succeeds, but when he gets back to shore, Serena shoots and destroys it, then decides to join the XXX team. Mark informs the team that Pandora's box was used to destroy a Russian stadium. The one Xander took was just a prototype. The team realizes that someone in the CIA was in on the plot to help Shang. They review footage of when Shang broke into the headquarters and Xander sees that director Anderson, Al Sapienza, 
was the only person not to flinch when Shang arrived. The team tracks down Shang and his team. Xander chases Shang on the streets, while Tennyson brings Adele, Nix, and Serena to chase after Hawk, which leads to them crashing vans, which sets Tennyson's record to 200 crashes. Xander and Shang fight one-on-one -on -one before Xander continues chasing Shang to a warehouse. They end up helping each other avoid the gunman before they reach Anderson. Adele is in a building across the street trying to get a shot on Anderson, but can't see with the thermal reading because the heat is cranked up. Anderson admits he crashed the satellite that killed Gibbons. Xander stands by the window and tells Adele to read between the lines. He holds up his fingers and makes an opening for Adele to shoot Anderson in the head. Mark and her men recover Pandora's box and they apprehend Zhang. As they are leaving on the jet, Mark gets a phone call and says to Xander that the XXX program has been shuttered, so the agents must be eliminated. She reveals her true intentions and shoots Xander three times. She then sends for an extraction team to get Xander and Shang's teammates, but they quickly discover the team are a bunch of hitmen sent to kill them. Both teams join forces to fight back. Adele and Serena shoot at the villains, and even Becky gets in on the shooting, albeit a bit clumsy. They are then joined by Darius Stone, Ice Cube, the last XXX agent recruited by Gibbons back in 2005. He comes in with a grenade launcher and blows up the villains. On the plane, Xander recovers thanks to some armor. He and Shang team up to fight Donovan and his goons. Donovan breaks out the bionic gloves and starts punching all the equipment on the plane as Xander dodges the punches. They fight in the bathroom, and Donovan punches the toilet, causing him to burst a hole in the plane that Xander pushes him out of. Mark uses Pandora's box to send a satellite to the safe house to kill the teams. She shoots Shang, but he notices her foot is stuck on a strap. He pulls a parachute open and sends Mark falling out of the plane. Shang falls out with his own chute. Serena calls Xander to inform him that the satellite is headed their way. Xander flies the plane in the direction of the satellite kamikaze style. He runs and jumps out of the plane before it collides with the satellite. He lands safely using a cargo load. Once at the bottom, he stomps on Pandora's box, destroying it for good. Xander and Serena kiss, and then Darius pulls up in Xander's old car. The two XXX men meet for the first time. The now larger team attends Gibbon's funeral. Xander is up at the top when he is visited by none other than Gibbons himself. He faked his death once again and is keeping a low profile. Gibbons is also glad that Xander is back in action. He tells Xander all he has to do is kick some ass, get the girl, and try to look dope. Gibbons leaves with Namer, while Xander continues to watch the service.